Hello, Prim friends. So I know I had mentioned in some earlier videos that I had some neat places to be taking you all to, and this is one of them. I'm at the Western Reserve Antique Shop in Canfield, Ohio. So it was just about an hour and 15 minute drive from Medina, if that gives you a landmark, headed east. And there are a few other places that are close here in this area to be able to make a day trip of several spots. Because I know if you're like me, you don't want to stop at just one. You want to hit a few and then put a wonderful dinner or a lunch in it too. And one of my favorite places is in this area to eat as well. And I'll share the name of that here as we get closer in the video. Love that basket and that portrait is just gorgeous. So a few years ago, uh, they had straight line winds and perhaps a tornado that had come through and trees just landed here on this beautiful shop. So we're so thankful that Lisa and her husband decided to rebuild and have it rebuilt. I know how much work is involved in that, so. Love that, that backpack type basket there. And I noticed here as I come around the corner, and I'm trying to go slow, um, this beautiful red old paint table is higher than what you would normally see or what most would be. And it really jumped out at me because I really like that idea perhaps for our, for our eat-in area in our kitchen. In the, in the new house. Beautiful color too. And those chairs painted with that floral. And there are four, six, looks like six of those, which you don't often see, because there are two more right over here by the fireplace. And it's just beautifully decorated there with those pewter plates and the charger there in the middle. And the nice thing is Lisa also has these lovely candles there with that flicker flame. And those are available here in the shop as well. So that's always nice when... I like when you see something in the shop that you that you just kind of can't live without and then it's actually available right here as well. What a lovely collection of the lanterns. Gorgeous. And then I'm going to come back around this way because I had seen something I don't think I've ever seen before that it is a tin Betty lamp holder and look at that with that impressed heart design there. Just gorgeous. She does have some very unique pieces that you just don't see. You just don't see everywhere. And of course, the stone fruit one of my favorites. And the hide boxes there in the corner. And the barrel and the, the pantry boxes with the handles. Nice early paint colors. And this cupboard here with those amazing Hinges. Just 
just love that. See the painted chair there in the corner? Don't know if you noticed, but at the very top, that has a date on it. Wow. Love the flowers. Looks like pansies decorated there. Then maybe a little tussy mussy tied with a ribbon there at the bottom. Beautiful. And then this little charmer here in the corner. And the early pipe box. And there's another heart. So sweet. So you can hold there's several rooms here in this shop. Look at that lovely early blue children's clothing and the, and the little bonnet. That beautiful sampler. Gorgeous, gorgeous frame. I love the pin cushion here, and the little mirror, and it attaches to a table there. And then again, a nice collection of the hog scrapers there. If you remember or have seen the earlier video that I did at Ginny Curry's, with that large collection of the hog scrapers on that table it was just such a stunning presentation. You can't have just one and then it more than two becomes a collection of the old cats there, the little child's chair. The wallpaper boxes. dome top trunk there and these trunks over here are just incredible with that early decorative paint that almost looks like a sunburst or something there on the side love the sewing sewing accessories there the pin cushions the make do and the strawberry bed warmer in the corner. That beautiful bonnet. And this is a um, it's a glove box with the sizes kid gloves with the sizes on the knobs. That quilt is gorgeous. And it has the, looks like it has the cutouts. Yep, it has the cutouts in the corner. So today when we buy a quilt, we don't get the luxury of that very often. You have to kind of tuck and, but look, there they, they made arrangements for those corner posts in the bed. Love that little shift underclothes and that beautiful Milner's head the darning pieces and that that mirror that would have been such a treasure a couple hundred years ago again another sampler here this one is actually an Ohio sampler. It's gorgeous. Some of the early, early men's clothes, that lovely coat. And there's a uh, hoop from those old dresses. 
lovely coverlet. I told Lisa as I walked around earlier, I had not um, ever really heard this reference before, but this is called a Lazy Kate. And I'm sure that the reason is when there's, you know, more than a couple of the spools together, I guess it's the Lazy Kate because she didn't have to go, she didn't have to go far to get more, I suppose. That is just so neat. Love the name that goes with it too. Little children's, children's corner here, the little chalkboard fabric covered books that beautiful looks like a Chippendale style mirror it's gorgeous In the early light like a rush light perhaps Yep, early rush light, so you put that piece in there. Yeah, there's another one, the candle and then the rush piece behind. I've always referred to those as a courting candle, courting. Let's see if that's what it says. Yep, courting light. So I guess they would set how long the couple could be together and when it got to a certain point, it was time for the gentleman to go home. Love this cupboard with the chest of drawers in the bottom. The fishing creel. Beautiful painted fish there. And the boat oars. And this quilt piece, I would think that was from are they called cigar silks, I believe? Very neat. Beautiful condition. Neat, nice collection of the treen pieces. There's a 12 tube candle mold and a wax jack. early silhouette. Lisa said she does ship. So if you see something that calls out to you, do not hesitate. I'll make sure to have her phone number and address also in the description portion of this video. So you can reach out to her. Love that painting. And the Tommy sticks there for the candles that you could hammer right into a beam where you needed it for the light. Lovely chair. And again, another one of those, a trunk with that beautiful accent paint there and a whole cupboard of those accessory pieces those runners or tablecloths that we're we're always looking for in that perfect early looking woven design and color there's a nice theorem theorem painting and the frame is gorgeous with that grain painting as well. So 
So we'll head on into this room. Here's a whole collection of silhouettes. Just oh, so charming, just beautiful. There's a painting here as well. Mrs. Mary Atchison. Oh, look at this early couple. Love the hair designs. He has more ruffles on his clothing, it looks like, than she does. There's some pieces of rush. Beautiful early style candle or uh, light fixture there. Love the little settle. And the faces are the grandfather or grandmother clocks. And the little wooden or wooden leather bound books. If you saw the video of my parents' home, you've seen the large collection that my dad has. Lovely. And see one of those pieces of the woven woven fabric just draped over the back just adds a little little punch of a color. And another trunk. beautiful chairs. She's got a bit of a shine there. I want to make sure you can see that beautiful painting. It looks like it's on board. Goodness. And these large three candle tin sconces. And there are two of those. I think I may have missed this beautiful painting that's here in this other room. I do want to go back and bring you to that one. Lovely Betty lamp. Beautiful. Another one of those backpack baskets and this caught my eye here too that is the side rail this peg rack just so neat something so different that's a peg rack for from a the side rail of a rope bed and again a couple more beautiful samplers Looks like this child, age 11, was done in 1822. And here's some of those moving flame candles. And then a whole collection of the, of the coverlets. Beautiful rye basket. Nope, that is a pine needle basket. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? So they bound the pine needles together and then use that to make a make a basket. Pretty accent mirror. And then this painting that I had missed is right here. Isn't she sweet? With that hoop. A little game the children would play. The little face is so sweet. It's 
So we'll go on here, look at this corner cabinet. Kind of a nice, um, sometimes these are quite wide, but this is a nice, a little bit more of a petite size, width wise. Staffordshire dog. I love that Santa there in the in the corner holding the is he holding a sheep? And a bottle brush tree. And a fractor behind. Again, those early looking Santas. Such a warm, warm feeling with the little fireplace going here. And a stack of the little footstools, so cute. Nice carrier. So if you haven't already, I do hope that you like and subscribe. Again, I know I've said before, it does not cost anything to subscribe. All that really does is it helps YouTube say, hmm, there's some primitive people that like this kind of style and it helps to show our video. It helps us get out there to more primitive, loving, um, decorating fans. So the more that you're able to like and subscribe and comment below, the more often our videos are shown um, across that platform. I'm really liking that old fire back. with the train and the is that maybe a big oak tree there in the corner looks like a fireplace trammel there in the on the wall nice early mortar and pestle and I love that blue in that cupboard looks so nice with the with the yellowware pieces. Beautiful breadboard, the dough board. That looks like that looks like one board across. I don't see a seam. Wow! Can you imagine? the tree that that might have come from. And that sweet child's rocker with the stencils. Love that dry sink. Now all of these wonderful kitchen utensils. And the butter paddle. The darner. Oh, that's an herb grinder. Lovely. Things we don't even think of today, but how, how nice would that be when you're making the Thanksgiving stuffing or something to kind of grind it to bring that scent to the front. And this whole basket filled with the tin cookie cutters. Love the eagle. There's a dog, a horse, some really special ones in there. There's another bread peel. I love the ladder in the corner there to hold the quilt. Beautiful. It's an interesting tin. 
looks like a butter churn. collection there are the measures and the graduated size and the corn ice cream mold there's one and there's another that's my mom and dad have have one and honestly they may have bought theirs here now that I think about it Those molds. I, I am very partial to the to the early kitchen pieces. I just love that they were they were pieces that were used every day or nearly every day. They were things our four sisters held in their hands and used and then passed down. Maybe they were part of a hope chest at some point in time. Love that collection of the of the cooking iron tools. Lovely dough box or dough board rather. That has a unique carving design in it as well. Oh, and that beautiful breadboard with the bread knife. And those great, great early bowls. And a candy mold. So I wonder if that was Maybe for maple, maple sugar candy, perhaps. Again, more of these wonderful kitchen pieces. We're not even, you know, at the time the kitchen, I know we say today it was the heart of the home, but at that time it really was too. It was where the heat was so often. Look at this gorgeous set of fox food choppers. Amazing. And that tin dough board with the rolling pin. Again, another whole collection of the, of the iron kitchen pieces. And there's a piece for the, with the initials. And an unusual butter print. Look at how somebody was an engineer. Look at that. on the inside. Amazing. We'll go back around here for this lovely table. It's so accessorized, so pretty. With the beautiful farm table and the chairs with these sweet finials on the top. Beautiful butter churn and that early paint. Okay, we're gonna go on into this into this room. This whole collection of special buttons. I just love this floor. With that brick, there's a dough box there, it's a 
Very interesting stencil there with the eagle. I wonder if that's a game of some sort. The world's globe circular. Nellie Bly. And Jules Verne. Interesting. Love that cubby there on the wall. This one now is carrying all those nice jar candles. And there's a marble game for children. Simpler times. Sweet little sled there to push maybe for a child or two if they were little enough for Christmas time. Nice big bunny. Boy, would he make a beautiful display for Easter. I love that chair behind again, that painting or stenciling there. So again, I hope you like, subscribe, reach out if you see something here that speaks to you. Her shop is just lovely. She does do shows um, all over, out of state as well, and has friends that do. So Lisa said if there is something that is a larger piece that's too big to ship, and you're maybe just a state or two away, um, they do do a lot of shows, so it's possible to be able to meet up um, and have someone bring it closer to you. Love those lace-up shoes. <laughs> Neat book, Go West, Young Bear. Okay. I love the comments. Look at that horse on the rockers there. That's a nice large one too. And then this really caught my eye. This she's got six yards of upholstery fabric here. It's the kind of has that raised there's a word for it. It has slipped my mind. Um, but I used fabric just like this to create my curtains in our Bristol house. Um, it was the kind that were, it's actually a rectangle shape and then you put the rings and the um, cording through and you can pull it and pull it up. But we're so used to using some of the thinner weight um, fabric. But that type of upholstery weight is absolutely perfect for making those style of early uh, drawback curtains. So there is one other little section here of the shop that I want to show you as well. I think that is a little like an oven for, for by the fireplace. I want to say for apples. Oh, a bird roaster. Okay. I think you could probably bake a mean apple, too. Okay, I'm in the front room now of the shop. And again, I see that side rail of an early rope bed. What a clever use of that. And that small size quilt. Just love it. I love all 
all the drieds there too. And the children's toys. Look at that bear on wheels. And that little grouping of the puts sheep. They're so cute. The little ribbons around their neck. Love that little child's bench with the drawer and the upholstery there in the back. Look at that Lindsay Woolsey, that early. Look at that dark blue. Beautiful. And the rocking horse. And that sweet little arrow back. That little arrow back chair there. And the early faceless dolls. The little Amish dolls. The Amish don't like to have their images taken, their pictures taken. And they don't have, uh, their children's dolls don't have faces either. It's all about the no graven images. Oh my goodness, look at that. The goat, the tag says there, there's a squeaker. He is stunning. That horse too. So I hope when you are in this part of Ohio, and even when you're not, I hope you make a trip to come to this part of Ohio. It's not that far from, I always use Seville Antiques as a reference place, but it's only, it's honestly, you hop on the highway and you would be here in an hour and 15 minutes from Seville, if not even shorter time than that. Love those carters back there, and that looks like a flax knife at the top. Yep. The little diorama, the little miniatures there. There's another one. I think I'm wrapping up and then I see something else that I want to share with you. There is a piece here I do want to share with you also, and this one is sold, but I do want to show it to you. Love those bird paintings, and this one here. With the little chicks. Look at this incredible spice cabinet. The paprika, thyme, mustard, allspice. Just amazing. And that does actually have the label there on the side. And I think on the other side as well. Sorry, I know I'm showing you something that's sold, but it is sort of showing you just how incredible these pieces are that Lisa has here in this shop. I will make sure to put her hours in uh, the description, but right now her hours are Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 10, and Friday 10.30 to 4.30, and then Saturdays 10 to 3. She said sometimes on Sundays and by appointment. But if you are coming into the area and she is home, she said just let her know. And she may be able to certainly open or be open late if that works for you. So it, all it takes is a phone call. And I'll make sure all that information is included in the description below. So take care everybody. Keep hunting for those primitives. As you can see, they are out there. Imagine all the ones that have not yet been uncovered. Take care. Make it a great day. So we are just outside of 
the Western Reserve antique shop. It just seems so hard to believe that they had such incredible damaging winds and even the possibility of it being a tornado that came through and did so much damage. If you look back there, there is an early log cabin that Lisa and her husband had that is their home so uh, Lisa said the next time I am in this area we will definitely do a tour of the house as well so I'm really excited about bringing you all that as well look at all those grinding stones there's the graduated size small up to the big ones And look at that big piece of flagstone there on that front step. Absolutely amazing. So again, if you're in this area, this is definitely a place to stop and definitely a place worthy of a road trip. Not to be missed.